And we're live, maybe. Hi. Hey, yeah. So, uh, just jumping on here, random impromptu live stream. We like to jump on sometimes and just uh, talk Ran randomly, right? Yeah. So, let's see if anybody jumps on and then we will dive into it. So, it looks like we have one viewer. We'll just give it a few minutes. Uh, see if it pops up on here. We're not used to doing live streams, so apologize. There we go. All right, we got some people in here. We got Dylan Collins, Riley the Roblox Kid, uh, Chronic Quick, Jim Connolly, Yolo Swaggins. All right, so yeah, good amount of guys. It's hard to, to read everything on there. Um, but all right, we got some people. So why did we do this live stream? Because you wanted to, right? Because we wanted to debut our new Christmas ornament. <laughs> yes, that's why. So <laughs> you guys know the old NNKH garage. I uh, have a new one now. It's great. But we saved a lot of the old wood from the siding and the, uh, the roof. And hopefully you guys will be able to see this okay. Uh, Jen got the idea to turn them into Christmas ornaments. Okay. So, yeah, we got a few, a few different ones. Uh, so they're going to be available at nononsensenohow.com. There is a link in the description. They're all handmade by Jen and me. So far. He hasn't done a thing yet, but he intends to. I will be working side Some of by them side. have uh, surprise termites inside. Just no, kidding. there's no termites <laughs> at kidding. all. Termite-free wood here. You can still see the tar paper <laughs> on the outside of them. We got really beautiful wood grain. Like I, I know you guys probably can't see uh, too well on here. Let's see if I put that up real close. I don't know. Anyway, so those are the ornaments. There will be a link down. They're uh, limited production because there's only two of us. Made in USA with wood from the old MNKH garage. So kind of cool, you know. In case anybody came on here just for Gus, we did put that in the title. <laughs> he's here. Yes. <laughs> he's just he's, really sleepy. <laughs> he's sleepy boy. Uh, because He's here on my lap. It, it's late, so. Look at him. Look at his sad, sleepy little face. So I'm going to try to read a couple of these com um, comments, pick pick one or two out, so uh, maybe you can answer any questions. Hello from Texas, hello from Oklahoma, Massachusetts in the house here, we got Green Bay, Wisconsin, Finland with the YOLO swagons. Uh, let's see, bro, <clears throat> Riley says, bro, I love your videos, it's so cool to watch you, I wish I could hang out with you. I'm down in North Carolina. Well, you know, maybe run into you sometime down there. We like to travel and get out, meet people and such. We got uh, Illinois in the house, Rockford. We didn't get any snow. Well, we got a dusting the other night. But, uh, Barely. Oh, okay. What are you trying to pull it up to? Just so I comments? can read the comments. Don't mind me. Sorry, guys. We got ads on there, too. Yeah. <laughs> we got Minnesota. Uh, have you tried the Meepo V5? Yes. Did a video... So I think the V3S is just the best, the, the, the V3ER. It's, it's, you don't need anything other than that. The, the V5 is, unless I'm thinking of the V4. I'll have to look back on that. But if you're looking for a Meepo, V3ER is the way to go. Don't need anything more than that. We got it. Joseph Larkin, love from Philly. I well, love when people are local. from our, yeah, from our area. We got Manitoba. I think it's cool when we see people, you know, Manitoba, Finland. Oh, yeah. You know, Utah. No offense, Joe. It's cooler when we <laughs> find people from across the country. Yeah, but Philly's like, we see you guys yeah, all the like, time. Yeah, but like, you're local, so. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Uh, the Gus Man is on Jen's lap. Uh, Nathan Clark asked. And uh, we got Does that Virginia mean I need here. to show him again? So, anyway, I guess I'm um, just down at the bottom. We got New Zealand, too. Uh, we pretty much just jumped on to, to say hi, and I know I've only been doing like a video every two weeks on the main channel, and that's because kind of kind of been doing a little bit of everything, other side jobs and stuff too, and if you 
try to do a video every week. It can, I mean, some people pull it off. You know, you got the Dalton Pole Barn Garage. He's just slaying it with, with tons of new projects and, and hard work videos out all the time. And Vice Grip Garage, I don't even know how that guy does it. He, but anyway, for me, I feel that if I was doing it every single week, if I only had the one channel, maybe. But otherwise, it's a little daunting of a task. Anything more from you? Not yet. It, are you going to read these? So if you see if anybody says anything of yeah, yeah, yeah. interest. Uh, we got the 5.4 uh, F250. No, that didn't sell yet. I got a speed sensor on order. Try to get that rectified. few people interested. But, you know, 4K without the utility body on it. I don't know. Might take this. Takes a special buyer that wants it. Somebody that's going to want to put the... Uh, Put something else on it, a flatbed, or make one out of wood. You got a Pennsylvania hmm. transplant down south. That's cool. I wish we were down south with the warm weather. Stealing Jen's beer. Oh, uh, let's see. Does Jen still have her house? No, I sold it. I sold it, what, two weeks ago? Yep, closed on it. Yeah. Done deal. Really, really excited about that. Now we can put her to work in this house. Everybody always projects. asks that question. They're like, well, what, what's going on? You two don't live together? We've been living together, but I've had a house, and everyone's, all my friends and family are like, why don't you sell it? Why don't you rent it out? I just wasn't ready to, and I finally did, and I'm, I'm glad. No regrets. Yeah, it's nice to just have one place to worry about, for sure. Uh, Purple Ghost just dropped us 20 bucks. Thank you very, very much. Just Thank wanted you, Purple to, Ghost. Just wanted to say uh, hello. Don't worry about the memberships. Thanks for everything you do. Much love. Hey, thanks so much for being a member. And uh, yeah, I, ma I made a video the other day kind of saying how I, I don't do much on there. But I really appreciate the extra support from you guys. Huge. Hugely appreciate that. Uh, helps out big time. So oh, thank you. Thank you very much for the support. Uh, so yeah, if you see, how's the F two fifty driving? That thing drives like just a cream puff. Now it, it could have slightly more miles because the the odometer is working sometimes and not working other times. So who who knows how long that's been? But when you drive it, I mean those bushings, you can tell if it's got a hundred k, two hundred k, or three hundred k, and that thing drives like a cream puff. Very nice. Can I answer Ben real quick? Yeah. Um, what about Jen's channel? When is she going to post more? Uh, this week. I fell off for a little while because I had some stuff going on with the sale of my house and some other stuff going on. But this week. I've been editing the last few days and soon. Very soon. And uh, touching on that too, like for her, she's just been super busy. But the other thing too is like you have to be can't be making videos if you're under the weather or if you're mentally just just not 100 percent and you guys know you know some some days you're you're out there and some days you're just feeling kind of like oh let me just put a shell over me and and chill and so that can happen too and and i've seen i've seen other people burn out from just going crazy hard with the videos and i don't ever want to get to that point so like a rule that i set a while back is i mean if, if i'm feeling it like yeah do it. Pull the camera out and, and go. But if you're not 100%, like, don't don't try to force it, you know. Don't try to be recording. Sometimes it's nice to just, like, I did the pavers in the in the carport and had her helping me with that a little bit. And it's nice to just do a project and not record it, you know. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. You, I couldn't even walk the next day after the paver job, but we didn't record any of that. No. Maybe. He the, was like, it, it won't be a big deal, like, a couple hours, um... Next thing you know, how many, how much does each paver weigh? Like 20 pounds? Yeah. And how many pavers pounds. did we lift? About 600 of them. Yeah. It was all the cuts <laughs> on the edges, the way we did it. The, the, both sides had cuts along the entire thing and had to cut out around everything. And then all the back head was all cuts too. And then in the front had to do an angle cut to, to bring them down all slope. So that was, it was crazy. <laughs> Uh, let me see, know if you see anything else here, because, yeah, hard to... NNKH be a motorcycle channel? Uh, you know, I love motorcycles. Love doing videos on them, too. But this channel's just a little bit of... I don't even know what's up with the multiple channels. It's like... 
You know, the main channel, I, the way I think of it is I try to be 30 minutes to an hour long videos telling a story that I think's worth telling on that channel. And, you know, uh, some are great, some are not great, but the second channel is used to be just kind of the junk bin, a little bit of everything, but it's turned into reviews, motorcycle stuff, uh, F-250, you know, I didn't think, we didn't really do anything to it, but I'd like to bring you guys along to the auction. Some people will think that's interesting. I think it's fun and interesting. So things like that. Uh, a lot of e-bike reviews, as you guys know. Some people get sick of them, but I mean, I like hopping on the bike and going. And then the miscellaneous channel is just a little bit of everything. Like I just picked up an 8-track stereo and do a video on that. I just like everything. <laughs> do random stuff. Not very focused. Thanks, Buff. Buff's Garage. We were out in Tucson. What's up, man? Him. Yeah, it's awesome. He's got meeting. his own channel, too. You should check it out. Yes. We had a good time with him. He filmed, he did some of your drone work. Did you even, or no? He wasn't flying the drone, oh, but, but he yeah. had his drone yeah. and he got right. some, some awesome shots for the, the drag race out there at uh, at Tucson too. So really cool meeting you and hanging, you, yeah. hanging with you Check out there. Check him out. Yeah. Buff's, Buff's Garage. Buff's Garage. Thanks you guys too. guys click on his thing. It will bring you, bring you over to his channel. Uh, hey boy said, hey from prison. Just kidding. For a second, I was going to say, well, that's awesome if yes. you got the internet in prison. Well, it's not awesome to be in prison, but if you had YouTube there. How's the KZ and when you're doing another video on it? Uh, KZ's great. You know, did the basic maintenance. It was just riding it a little bit. Now it's cold, so next year, maybe jump back on it and do some dumb stuff. Uh, I got a lot of hate in that video. A lot of people were... Or say you don't deserve that bike. Uh, you're you're beating it out and storing it outdoors, or whatever. So, Jen's been daily driving the Torino. Mm -hmm. Still, it's going strong. Yeah. So then do the the. My Civic took a little poo poo. Needs a new transmission. <laughs> yes. Where's the Gus man at? Let's bring you out. He's trying to take a nap. Oh, Bubs, you gotta say hi to everybody. He's like, what? What are you talking about? Row Chicken 215 videos are dope. I learned a lot from watching. Thank you, man. Appreciate the the, the support big time there. And uh, it's awesome to hear that you learn from the, the videos. Uh, just kind of reading random stuff I see here, guys. So I apologize if I don't read everything. Um, but haters going to hate. Yeah. I've... Nobody likes getting haters, though. You falling asleep there? They're looking, they're, <laughs> they're looking at you, buddy. It's probably going to... Not focus if I bring them up close, but can get some treats. The Gus man, uh, we really want to do a, a T-shirt for Gus at some point, or, or something, stickers or something or another. So I, I want to stop slacking on that. Get in contact with uh, maybe a local artist or somebody that does does that kind of thing and uh, pay to get that that done because I'm a terrible artist. Jen's really good though, so just. Another shout out, like I said, the ornaments. Jen's going to be making these. Is this all of them? Let me pull up a better image on here. Uh, whoa, jeez. Me, myself, and I. Yeah, $50 Thank you. too. Thank you. Wow. That is so kind. It's, uh, lo love both your channels and Jen's. How did you and Andrew meet? And have you known each other a while? So, <clears throat> well, thank you, for one. Thank you very much. And, uh... So, I love his, his videos back in the day. I was watching a ton of YouTube, um, and I still still do. I don't spend as much time watching, but I thought his castle project was just amazing. Like, I mean, ch like, what a dream. What a dream build. And when I saw him, so I was following along on it, like most a lot, a lot of other people were. And when I saw him doing the roof and all the welding he had to do, I was like, man, that is, he's doing this by himself. That's crazy. So I had sent him a, I wasn't, I didn't have anywhere as many subscribers at that time, but uh, sent him a message and I was like, hey, you know, not for nothing, but I'd love to come up for a day or two and help you just, just lay some beads out and get that all done. And he was like, you know, that actually sounds good. If you you want to come up, yeah, let's do it. And, and he ended up being a really cool guy. Uh, so I had a good time with him and we've been friends since then. So I did a, you know, snowmobile trips, some other trips and stuff with him, uh, jet skiing. He met us on, took his jet ski down from Saugerties down to, Met us out there on the Hudson uh, near the Statue of Liberty, and great guy. So if you want to go uh, do some welding or something, I'll reach out to him. I don't know. He's, uh, he's pretty cool. Any 
Did you see anything else on there? Uh, doing something over there, baby. Sorry, I, the live stream thing. The re reason I don't do it that much is because I'm probably like talking the whole time, and she's not. I just it's it's hard to keep up with the comments, and you miss so many. Yeah, it's like it keeps said, like going, and you can't go back and or can you? Well, you can scroll back up. Yeah, we got Port Orange, Florida, in the house. Uh, F two fifty did not sell yet. Still available. Got a speed sensor on order, as I was already saying. Heck yeah, I want a Gus sticker on my toolbox. Yeah, we, we love the, the Gus, the Gus man. You guys you guys love him too, so. Um, should... I'm going to get his brother Tucker in here. He's sleeping over on the couch. You keep him occupied, man. Yeah, this guy has been quite the terror for the last few days. My best friend has been on vacation, and Tucker is Gus's brother. And him and Turbo have not been getting along. No. <clears throat> but this is uh, Big Tuck, we call him. <laughs> he's, he's a little bit, a little hef, heifer. Uh, those, these two fight like cats and dogs. Uh, no. he, was, he was just sleeping on the couch, too. He's like, yeah, why did I come in here? Here you go, bubs. <laughs> you want that? Uh, Ruben, thank you very much. Yeah, for the $10, yeah, you said, do you guys ever plan on coming to California? I love California. Every every time we're out west, I'm like, let's just, let's go one more state over. And she's like, she doesn't like California, right? Sometimes, you know, like you've been there, done that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I think California is amazing. You guys have so much there. Uh, I don't really like the politics too much and the craziness of it. I don't like how it's falling off and sinking into the ocean there. And I don't, when I say the politics, I mean like the really, really strict regulations on everything, the emissions. That I don't like, but, you know. Any tips on raising a dachshund? <sighs> yeah, get the, the good one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um... I think dogs is just luck, luck of the draw. If you get a good one, they're great. And I don't know. You got any tips? I don't know. I mean, just by nature, they're they're very barky, and they can be aggressive. So I feel like we got lucky with this one because he's not aggressive really at all. Yeah, she was saying that uh, they're one of the most aggressive breeds, right? You said. That's what Google said. Yeah, and then I Google it, and like there was one that killed a baby. It just ripped it to shreds. I'm like, oh my god, that sounds terrible. I don't think he would do that. No, but if the baby wouldn't. pissed you off, maybe. Uh, Benjamin Lamb, fifty dollars, man. Thank you very, very much. If that's the, Thanks, Ben. If that's Javelin Ben, there, I assume it is. Uh, yeah, man, dude. Thank you. And thank you for your service as well. Uh, to the country. Military man there. Javelin man. California is a beautiful place, but I wouldn't live there either. Yeah, it's beautiful to visit, for sure. Like Yosemite and Death Valley. I mean, they got it all there. They, they got, they got the beach. How many e-bikes you got at this point? Uh, so, the e-bikes. I only have two right now. I do a video on them, and then I sell them. Usually half price, locally. Can you pause it so it doesn't keep scrolling up? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure actually. No, oh, yeah, there you go. There, it's paused. So, uh, yeah, only two two e bikes, one folding, well, both folding, a full size folding, and then the small Angue folding. Um, e bikes, you know, I there's just so many companies, mostly all Chinese companies, overseas. And uh, they just keep reaching out, want to send these e-bikes and such for review. Uh, a lot of people always ask questions about that. I really enjoy adventuring, and it's it's a fun way to shoot a video and, and be honest about the bike. I mean, I've had bikes that are sent to me, and I find issues with them. I, I tell the company straight up, like, I'm not making a video on this bike. It's just, it's, I can't. You know, you're not, not going to want me to make a video on it, because I'm going to just trash trash it. So that, that happens sometimes, too. But I... Usually, you know, I point out any imperfections I find and just keep it straight, you know. How are the chickens? We s sold them. Yeah, I got rid of the chickens. <laughs> you didn't like, there's, 
They were too... They were getting <laughs> really boisterous yeah. uh, and aggressive. And there's a few other reasons. Just pooping everywhere. <laughs> pooping on the motorcycles. Going into bushes, <laughs> kicking it, just just causing problems, and finally. But we they were like, did go to a good home. Yeah, oh, great home. Yeah, they, we actually didn't even give. Them, I put them up for I think like ten or fifteen dollars a piece. Everybody was hitting me up. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be a hard time selling them. No, got a dry throat. We'll get chickens again when they don't have to be so like such close proximity to all of your stuff and where you're. Uh, we got Permafrost X, f five bucks. Thanks very much. Thank you. Happy holidays to you as well. He's a longtime viewer from Camden County. I wonder if you guys consider doing more main channel videos, maybe weekly. I'd like to get more. I was talking about that earlier in this stream. I'd like to get more into the weekly thing, but sometimes it can can be a little bit draining. I don't know if you got a lot of other stuff going on and other channels, and you have like sometimes I have five, six videos going on at one time. Uh, but definitely a video later this week and just do them as, as I can. And, and I mean, like, would it be better to do more videos or like do better quality video? Like you don't want to just like pump out junk, right? No. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, some people can do a video every day and just, it's just a bomb video. It's awesome. You know, and I feel like if I did one every week, it would, it would take a toll <laughs> on me. You'd be like at the grocery store talking about groceries or at Home Depot. Yeah. I Which mean, you probably do those anyway, don't you? Well, you know, I get, <laughs> I get bored of stuff too, so I, I have to like slow it down with and then do a little bit of other things. It's, I don't know. But I'd like to get more into it. Doing uh, every week. Did I? I don't know. Well, that's so I had to, yeah. paused it there, and then, oh, yeah, because we got that. Okay, so we got Barry B. from Ireland, currently parked in England, spent summer 98, Northeast Philly. Love the channel. Thank How you. How did you and Jen meet? At a bar. Yep. Uh, she was sitting with her friend Lisa, who actually owns this little <laughs> guy, and I sat next to her I thought she was pretty smoking hot oh thanks babe and she was married at the time so they shooed me away a bunch but I was persistent enough to like anyway a couple years later when she wasn't married we reconnected or was it over a year later mm -hmm. and that's how that happened in a bar uh, we got uh, we got Queens New York in the house he looks pretty tired, the dog. Yeah, I think they're both. Yeah. He Gus is back sleeping. Do you ever find plan to find a place with more land and outbuildings? Yeah, definitely. One day. We'll see. No rush though. We love our little slice of suburbia here. Great. Did Jen sell the house yet? Yes, I did. Two weeks ago. Uh heck five twenty one ninety four, ten dollars. Thank you very much for that. And super chat. Thank you. Oh, we'll give that to you, Gus. Buy you some treats and food. <clears throat> Did you sell the squirrel? Uh, no, Leo stopped coming around. That was a while back, so we covered that in some videos. He, uh, you know, he's, he's a good squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a new one this spring. Who knows? <laughs> Chickens are a pain. Yeah, they are. Yep. I mean, we, I had them for 10 years. They were awesome, but it just got to a point where it was because we had six. Six is too many. For us, like, I used to have two or three, and it was totally fine. Uh, what, you're trying to tuck in there, too? I think I don't want to be up. What about the furry? Here, you want to scroll through there? If you just use the dial and scroll down. Would you rather fight one horse sized, sized gus. gus or 100 gus sized horses? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably just one. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot him. I always imagine <laughs> wild dachshunds like running through the woods. Imagine there was just packs of like 50 of them out there. and They probably would be very aggressive mm -hmm. and dangerous. <laughs> just rip you to shreds. Uh, let's see. Let's scroll down here. Alright. We are at the bottom. Cool. Do you plan on road tripping in Canada? Not anytime soon. Probably not. We would like to get over to Europe. Because she's never been, um, and 
I think it's totally different and rad over there, and I love it. I don't think we're going to be able to get away with the shenanigans we do here, but... Gail the Snail, still have her. Him, her. <laughs> uh, you should point the camera down, because Tucker's being really cute. Sniffing uh, everything. Well, then we'll never it's get okay. it pointed back right. He's sniffing everything. Three channels, one video a week. Yeah, I mean, with the, with the three channels, I'm always putting stuff out. I don't know. Some's junk, some's all right. Is Appreciate you guys for watching. That's all I can really say. Jeez, we got a $100 tip there. Did we Whoa. miss that? I didn't even, uh, I didn't see that. Oh, jeez, yeah, we scrolled right by that. Wow, thank you very much. Jeez, uh, you want to read that? Because my eyes are going... Uh, I'm further away than you are. Love the videos, Chris. The Vegas and Arizona road trips are absolute best. Hope you three have a great Christmas, and please keep up the co keep the content coming. I asked my buddy who works as uh, at Peak to reach out earlier this year. Hope you're able to work something out. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Uh, if you're talking about Peak Coolant, yeah, I've done. Uh, I did. I've been talking to Scott over there, and and we we did a couple small collaborations and such and hope to maybe get out to some events with them and such too so, that is that really sucks. really kind yeah that's uh merry christmas to you and your family and i uh, appreciate that very much sorry i missed you there or i didn't even see it at first you can we gotta get the uh we i think we missed this guy here uh cv so cv dub um keep twenty dollars keep up See, so if you have, like, the app, you can highlight their comment and show it on the screen. I don't know if it, like, a live streaming app. But he said, keep up the great comment, or content. content. <laughs> I've been subbed for a while, and I always enjoy them. Happy to see your channels continue growing. Auction, fix, sell. Thank you. Thank you for the support, thank and thank you for watching. All right, yeah, we had Ben in there. Cool. So we pretty much, as I was saying, why well, can't, how do I get off of this now? Let's scroll, okay. Boom. What about the Fury? More Fury stuff coming later this week. Do you want to read any more of these? Hey, you're doing a great you got job. got Tulsa? So, oh, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to put an image up real quick. Let's see how this goes. So... Go like that. These are the little ornaments that Jen has made. I guess we could leave her on the screen too. We'll just <laughs> we'll just blur me out. Uh, that's one, and let's see if I can put the other on there too. Talk talk to them, baby. While I'm, yeah, you guys should ask Jen some questions. You can read all their comments on here, right? If you scroll down, all the way down. Yeah. You don't even have to look at the screen. So you guys ask Jen some... Is my image on there? Uh, yeah. Is the image there, guys? I don't know. It should be. She, hers is not playing. All right. Properties. How do I do this? All right. You want me to cover you then? Mm -hmm. so, you can, so they can see me. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, go ahead. That's better. That's better. Anyway, the ornaments are available at NoNonsenseNoHow.com, and they will be made by Jen and me. And that was the point of the live stream. We Jen, just wanted sing to us a song. Yeah, that oh, sounds yeah, like Oh, yeah, I could definitely do a, a Christmas song. Let's do that. That's a great right. idea. Thank you for the suggestion. What song there. should I sing? Well, I'm going to put you on here. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <laughs> Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, brown young virgin mother and child. <laughs> I'll do another one later. No, keep it going. I was just getting started here, uh, doing the... Go ahead. So, if that image is on, that is the original NNKH garage. That's where the wood came from. It was all that shiplap. 
This is when I had the 18 foot uh, car trailer attached to the side of it and the little walkway through. It was great. Worked out good and then had the Harbor Freight tent. Expansion, expansion, you know, making use of the space. Provided that image is on there. Let's play this real quick. Um, can you sing another song, Debbie? I can't believe you have. You can't believe I have ads? Yeah. You don't have YouTube Premium? No. Are you... Okay, it is on. All right, you guys can see the image. Great. Sorry about that. Uh, so, let's go ahead and put another image up. There's the old King Quad in there. That is a picture I took just before tearing it down. You see some of that wood there. That stuff had termite damage. I only kept the good stuff. And it's really, really good wood. I mean, it smells so good. Delicious. Pine wood. Let's see what other... Uh, this would be a picture of Jen and I when we were... After tearing it down some. <laughs> yep. So, leave that up there for a second. And... Uh, see what else there's my little worker bee you can see it had uh, two layers of shingles and right up there on the roof where you can where the old shingles come to that uh, triangular peak there there was a mouse nest I always knew there was a mouse in there but I never and he, he was up tucked behind and like there was a board blocking so you couldn't get to him he had a good run up there that's for sure is that uh, why don't you hit play on that so and then and then turn the volume down so we can see what's on the TV. Like, okay, is it? it is on. All right, you guys can see oh. it. <laughs> okay. Next image. What else we got here? That is the bare slab. And this is all of the wood that we saved. Well, some of it. There's a lot more than that. So we'll have to find some other artsy fun projects to do. You, you said you wanted to maybe do like... Some signs or something? Yeah. You're yeah. not on the camera, by the way, anymore. So. I know. Okay. What What else would you want to do? Uh, yeah, I thought we we already talked about that. We would do like. But you didn't talk with them. Original. About it. It's a thing. And then. Well, if you guys you got any ideas. signs. And <clears throat> we're not reading any uh, comments right now, by the way, because we can't see them. Well, she can see them. Uh. Yep, and there's the after ripping that out. So let's see. We'll go to a final image here of. Oh, there's Jen. There she is. So you got the goose man. He tried ripping one apart. <laughs> and there is another close up of what they look like. Some, would you say some looks like a toddler made it? Some people might think, and yes. some people might think it's artsy. I think it's artsy. I think it looks cool. It's abstract. And it's very one-off. It's also neat to repurpose the wood from that old building that was probably built in the 60s, I would imagine. Late 60s, possibly. All right, so we can take that off. I'm glad that went smooth, and I didn't show you guys anything I'm not supposed to. <laughs> All right. So, uh, anybody else? Uh, we got Junker Clunkers in the house. Uh, he does some really cool videos on old junk. <laughs> but he's, uh, we had the, the big big red truck. and uh, So, check out his channel, guys. Thank you very much. Hey, Junker Clunker. For the $5. Appreciate that. Uh, we actually were watching your break job video when you were <laughs> yeah. teaching uh, whoever he was to you, your buddy. Or Jake. You, Jake, yeah. The break job. And... Out of that, that had me cracking up in the beginning. It just you it guys just were just so, busting his chops. I know it was really Poor funny. Poor kid. He and was, it was also funny because I was also doing breaks. Yeah, that which, like that's your next two video, days right? prior. Yeah. Yeah, you guys were pretty hard on Jake. That was funny. Um, what's in the new garbage? The garage, lots of stuff. I don't know what that means. <laughs> We got Warren County, New Jersey. Eggnog song. Go ahead, baby. <clears throat> I'll keep reading here. <laughs> Eggnog. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's a, an original Christmas song that I wrote years ago. Years and years and years ago. Let's hear it. <clears throat> I don't think I could just sing it like that. What about like the intro to it? Reindeer mugs and Christmas parties. Was I good or was I naughty? Funny hats and songs are gaudy. 
For Christmas. <laughs> what about the chorus part? <laughs> da, da, da. But I could get a stocking full of coal and a lumpy fruit cake. I don't care if there's no cookies on the plate. Underwear and socks and a sweater that I hate. An empty bank account, I'll think all of that is great. As long as, as long as, as long as I spend Christmas time with you. I don't remember the words. That's great. I love that thing. Oh, let's see. Demo Garage. How's the ambulance? Still have it. Kind of just, I'm like a utility body ambulance hoarder person. There's actually a couple other ones I've been looking at too. Maybe some plans with that. I don't know. Otherwise, I'm just hoarding it. People keep asking me if I want to sell. No, nope, don't want to sell it. <laughs> we got Australia in the house. Another eggnog song request from oh. Adam Nepp. Uh, this live stream is going. It's going just about how some of the Will Starts videos. Yeah. Oh well. Thank you. Appreciate. It. I mean, we're just hanging out with you guys. So anybody that's tuned, I don't even know how many people are in. I I have no idea. I I think 600 actually. So that's that's pretty crazy. Really appreciate you guys uh, chiming in and spending a few minutes with us. Uh, a few. Jen is shy. What were, what did you read that I didn't read? Sorry. Oh did no, go ahead. Yeah, no, I I really actually am. Not maybe not in person, but I don't know. I don't know how to explain this to you guys. But once the camera is pointed at you, it can really change the way that you act, right? Totally. Like, I, I could be really outgoing when I'm out with friends and family, but as soon as you put the camera on someone, it can, like, you get stage Yeah, right. you clam up, yeah. You say things wrong, you, you're just not yourself. You would think, after doing it for years, like, does it get easier? Has it been gotten easier Yeah, no, it's definitely gotten easier. I, it has not gotten easier for me. <laughs> So for some people, it's really easy. Others, you know, I'm used to working by myself all the time, too. So sometimes if I'm videoing and <laughs> other people I'm interacting, like, uh, it's just different for me. You know, I'm used to just being like a loner. And you know what else? Like, you, you get so judged by people Done. sometimes that you yeah. don't know. Uh, I just wanted to say, okay, we already got me, myself, and I, I think, right? I think so. Yes. Yeah. That's uh, another one. <laughs> No, it's just still on there. Okay. Thank uh, you again. Thank you. Jen, more DIY projects, please. Yeah. Try to get her to do some work here. Maybe redo the bathroom or... <laughs> <coughs> Very excited for this. The ornaments are lovely, Jen. Thank you. For Jen. Thank you. Uh, we did just have $20 come in from Evan Hoovler. Thank you, Evan. Thank you, Evan. Uh, love the channels, Chris and Jen. Carlisle. Carlisle, cool, yeah. See, see you out there. We actually met a few people at uh, Carlisle Chrysler. We were out there. Chrysler Nationals. That was a really fun event. If you guys haven't been to the, any of the Carlisle events, they, they just kill it out there. We're about two hours, but it's, it's a good time. And what was the name of that mall that we stopped by? The It's in Morgantown. Auto. There's an auto mall in Morgantown. Most of you guys probably know about it. But if you're ever cruising down the Turnpike, Pennsylvania Turnpike, really worth stopping there. It's a, The guy's got it figured out. He essentially sells these, these really cool old classic cars, mostly just cream puffs. Classic auto mall? What was it called? Yeah, classic auto mall. That's what it's called. It's an old mall that they put all these cars in. and It's really neat. He's got it. So he does consignment on most of the vehicles, but he charges these people a fair bit to bring them in, look them over, clean them up, put them on a showroom floor and all of his avenues are selling them. And then he charges them storage too. He's just, but it's even, it's cool to just go in there and walk around the mall and see all these classics. Really neat place. Um, eggnog song live. Where's are the these ambulance? All? No, I think these are, well, let's just scroll down to the bottom here because we, we, We'll start here at uh, Evans. It's just, yours just keeps moving. All right, we're just going to the bottom here. I get Swifty vibes from Chris's and Blink-182 Jen. All right. How many e-bikes do you have in your favorite? Only two e-bikes right now. I got the, the Walkie X3 and the the Angway 
folding compact 20 inch wheel angway folding uh those are my favorites for now but i did people ask those those comments a lot in the video like they're asking what's your favorite when it's on a 10 ways video, let's say, you know, those companies get mad if you're like, oh, I hate this bike. I mean, I, I'm transparent in my opinions on them, but I'm also mm -hmm. not going to like bring other their competition in the video. I don't think they're going to. Let's see if I'm shadow banned from this too. You're not. No, Caleb. Yeah. Caleb <laughs> Adams. We see you. Yeah, I don't know. So you messaged me the other day about that. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know why your comments aren't coming through. Off the look, maybe somehow you got... On the block Where list. is Turbo? <laughs> Oof. Tucker, as much as we like him, he's been a little bit of a butthole. And Turbo and him have not been getting along. Well, I'll go get him. He's probably at the door. I'll get him. No, here. You stay with them. No. You guys no. ask. You guys <laughs> no. ask. No. Here Chris. you go, Tucker. Here. All right. We'll point it down on Tucker. Chris. There it is. <laughs> okay. Here, Bob's. One for you, and one for the little pipsqueak. And we'll go get your big brother. <laughs> Can't believe you just left me like that. Oh, he's not there, baby. No? no? I'll find him. You come back here, I'll find him. Tucker heard Turbo and was like, no, all right, I'm coming back here. Okay. So I think, unless she finds Turbo in the next minute or two, there's me. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, that we really, really appreciate you guys. What'd you, you? I found him. Oh, boy, she did find Turbo. I'll put Tucker in the bathroom. Tucker's going away. Lisa, if you're watching. Stay there, mister. He's a bad boy. Come on, Turbo. Uh, geez, there's still 700 people on here. I, I, we apologize uh, if, if this is you know, lackluster, everybody. Turbo. Turbo. Oh, I think she lost him. How's that smell, huh? Come here. She locked Tucker in the bathroom. He's crying. You don't like the smell of pine wood? So if anybody does decide to buy those, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, uh, we got uh, Junker Clunkers jumping back on here. Thank you both. I promise Jake is fine. <laughs> yeah, that was that was funny, you guys. But she was like, man, they're being so mean to him. And I was like, nah, this is great. That's how mechanics are. If you go work at a, a real shop, uh, they are hard on you. And also with the ornaments... I am gonna, I got some of these magazines that actually a viewer of the channel, um, his grandfather had passed away and he had all these really cool magazines. They were gonna throw them out. They're from the 50s. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna pick some some of these randomly and just slide, uh, ship these out to you guys too. Some people might just trash them. I'm not sure. Hey babe, Tucker's kind of freaking out in there. But you read through and the uh, advertisements and such. Look at this. Here's you get a. Turbo. You get a. This, is this gonna be backwards for you guys? I'm not sure. Oh, we got Turbo in here. Hey, Bob. Yeah, but he's not happy. He knows Tucker's in the house, and he doesn't. He doesn't want to be here. Yeah, Tucker has been just a real butthead to him. So. All right, I'll let you out, buddy. You get a Kruger 12 caliber pistol, right. single shot for I'll three dollars. Don't worry, Turbo. So just send your money to the Kruger building, and I'll just let you guys if I can focus on that. Right. And it's not a CO2. It's a real lead bullets. Real gun. Uh, but yeah, I'll slip some of these in. You can actually go on eBay. I made a story about this on uh, Instagram the other day. You get these for like six, seven bucks shipped. And there's just, you, you never, you'll be blown away by some of the stuff you see in them. Uh, you got old Motor Trend ones, too. These are all mostly from the 50s. But, and there's there's actually uh, vehicles for sale in here, too. And they go over, you know, camber, caster, and how to properly do. And you look at these guys use a bumper jack. He's like, there's just such cool stuff in here. Um, 
wonder if I get like copyright for uh yeah, lifetime guaranteed battery. No other battery can make all these statements. Guaranteed for the life of your car, this battery. Unfailing performance under extreme conditions. Mm -hmm. They guarantee it won't fail. First battery to be awarded the Car Life Seal of Merit. There's also always like bogus claims you find in there. <laughs> Don't be blindfolded. Buy battery belly who? Belly ho. All right. Well, you ready to wrap it up then, baby? Did you get to thank? Did you get to thank? I did not. Thank you, Kyle, very, very much. Did you miss any more? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, we. Yeah, thank you, Dave, for five dollars. Thank you for sharing your lives with us. Thank you for joining in and watching us share our lives. Thank uh, you, Dave. Caleb, thank you very much for that. I'm gonna look in. Thank you so much. To. Well, thank you for the 20 bucks, and I'm going to look into why uh, your comments might not be coming through. It could be something on your end, too. I, I don't I don't know. I'll have to Google that and find out. Uh, Kyle, we got... Cool. And Purple Ghost Dragon dropped another $20, so thank you very much for that. Uh, I loved that 71 Chevelle. I know you had title issues like the Fury. Since you got the Fury figured out, so did you get... That car figured out also. Yeah, so I did get a title for the Chevelle, and there's going to be more on that. I just uh, I haven't haven't done it yet. I'm so uh, scattered, I jump on all sorts of other stuff instead. Uh, jump around. But we are going to chime out of here now. Do you want to sing a song together? I can't A sing. Christmas carol? My throat is so dry. Come I feel on. like I've been talking a mile a minute. How about, like... You should sing a song. No, like, just like a regular Christmas song. I threw it. It's not going to go down well. I'm also stuffed up still. Jingle bells? Uh, maybe. Just start singing. <laughs> just start singing. I'll, yeah, I'll keep... Funny. No, go ahead. You I, should. I don't want to sing alone. Well, then, okay. If you start, I will, I will jump in. <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells. <laughs> how? Go ahead, pick another one. My God, they always comment about how terrible I am. And don't let that man ever sing again. You want me to sing? <laughs> Now we're gonna. I think it's been a while, so we're gonna jump on out of here again. Thank you guys so much for all the support uh, and for being here and watching and watching the channel and try to keep getting the video out every two weeks. Maybe bump it down to a week. I, uh, I see people literally unsubscribe because of that they're like, "Oh, you used to put out videos. I'm gonna go to a real channel that actually makes a video every week, like Vice Grip." I see. I see. This. We try to read most every comment because sometimes you gotta scan for if there's bad stuff in there people disclosing information that they don't want like locations and things like that jumping off topic here right went way way off topic so appreciate you guys anything else no like uh we just can't thank you enough everybody that is uh, obviously so generous with their viewership and and your 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 tips here and just we wouldn't be doing this if you guys weren't watching, so thank you so much. Yeah. Well, I would still be doing it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it makes it so much more awesome having having you guys all, all with us. And, uh, yeah. Without further ado... Yeah, happy holidays. Hopefully we see you before then. Thanks. Yes. Maybe we'll do it on a live stream in the future, but like I just... tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. If she puts together a plan and we do some songs, I'll play maybe. But otherwise, I feel like we just turn this camera on and oh, I'm speaking a mile a minute. Now I got a sore throat because I'm like. So. But appreciate you guys very much. And uh, hopefully, this wasn't a flop -a mm -hmm. No nonsense, no hell.com. Link down below. Limited edition. Thanks so much.